Those working on the front lines of the pandemic were telling Senator Maggie Hassan today about what life has been like over the past year. I don't think a shift goes by that I don't hear a colleague um, share some real concerns and burdens of their emotional burnout and fatigue of what they're dealing with. The Franklin police chief says officers are going through something similar. The COVID issue has stressed everybody to the max, uh, not only within the healthcare field, and certainly they too are very, very affected, but here as well. The chief of the Portsmouth Police Department sees the stress from his officers on a daily basis. Taking the risk of going out and doing your job and having the potential of being exposed and then bringing that home to your family, how it affects your family. The concerns are the same here at the Manchester Fire Department. They've dealt with more than two dozen cases of COVID-19 and on top of that, a large amount of mental health calls. The, the volume of mental health calls that we respond to are, um, it's really stunning. It's a ton of mental health calls, suicide calls, those types of things. It's Russell Conti works as a peer counselor for state police, but will serve any agency. He says calls for service have increased dramatically. You know, we have destigmatized, de you know, the need for help. We have made people feel comfortable in knowing that it's okay to not be okay. Conti says many agencies have their own mental health resources, but the need for expanded access across New Hampshire is needed now and after the pandemic is over. When we come out of this, uh, you know, there is an anticipation uh, that there'll be an increase in these numbers. And I think that's going to be interesting to watch. Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.